to announce to the distinguished Senate and all Nigerians that Mr. President has sent a correspondence dated 27th day of July 2023 to this hallowed chamber. Address to distinguished Senator Gosfield Aquavio, President of the Senate, requests for confirmation of ministerial nominees. In compliance with the provisions of section 147, subsection 2 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended, I am pleased to forward to the Senate for confirmation the underlisted 28 ministerial nominees. One, Abubakar Momo. Two, Ambassador Yusuf Maitama Tuka, CUN. Three, Architect Ahmad Dangiwa. Four, Barrister Han Hanatu Musawa. Five, Chief Uche Naji. Six, Dr. Beta Edu. Seven, Dr. Doris Anite Uzoka. Eight, His Excellency David Omae. <laughs> Nine, His Excellency Ezenwa Nyesom Wike. Ten, His Excellency Mohammed Badaro Abubakar CON. His Excellency Mohammed Badaro Abubakar CON. Eleven, His Excellency Nasri Ahmed El Rufai. CON. 12. Right Honorable Ekperikbe Ekbo. 13. Honorable Inkiru Onyejiocha. 14. Honorable Olubumi Tunji Ojo. Fifteen, Honorable Stella Okotete. Sixteen, Honorable Uju Kennedy Ohaneye. Seventeen, Mr. Belo Muhammad. Goron Yo. Goron Yo. Eighteen. Mr. Dele Alake. Nineteen. Mr. Latif Fagwemi. S A N. Twenty. Mr. Muhammad Idris, 21. Mr. Olawale Edu, 22. Mr. Wahid Adebayo Adelabo, 23. Mrs. Iman Suleiman Ibrahim. 24, Professor 
Ali Pate, 25, Professor Joseph Utsev, 26, Senator Abubakar Kiari, 27, Senator John Enno, 28, Senator Sani Abubakar Danladi. While noting that the above list is not exhaustive and that additional nominations will be sent in due course, I hope that the aforementioned nominees will receive the expeditious consideration and confirmation of the Senate. Please accept distinguished Senate President and distinguished Senators the assurances of my highest regards. Yours sincerely, sign Bola Ahmed Tunibu, President, Commander in Chief, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Distinguished colleagues, in view of the fact that we have not in place all our committees, this correspondence from Mr. President is committed to the Committee of the Whole. Leader of the Senate. Point of order. Yes, point of order. Thank you, Mr. President. My dear respective colleague, uh, I am Suleiman E. Kau Sumaila OFR, representing Kano South Senatorial District, Mr. Speaker from Kano. Uh, Mr. President, uh, it is a matter of urgent uh, public importance. I am coming under uh, Order 41. Uh, 41, 1, 2, uh, and 51. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it is in respect of the uh, strike of uh, uh, NLC. If you allowed me, Mr. Speaker, Mr. President, I will move, suspend all the relevant orders and uh, go direct to the motion because of the urgency and the importance of the uh, motion. Mr. President. Yeah, the, this is the uh, can we please read your point of order? But, uh, matter of urgent public importance. Uh, order 41, 1. Page 28. The matter for discussion shall, if possible, be referred to the President of the Senate before commencement of the day sitting, and the President of the Senate shall refuse to allow the claim unless he is satisfied that the matter is definite and urgent. Then the second, if the claim is allowed by the president of the Senate and the leave of the Senate is given by the at least one fifth of all senators, the matter shall be stand over till next legislative day. So, therefore, in line with our rule, uh, rule, which you have just read, just give us a brief of what the matter is and it will stand to the next legislative debt. Okay, uh, Mr. President, 
it is in respect of the impending or notice of strike by Nigerians Labour Congress, which gave uh, the ultimate of seven days. And from the day they gave the ultimate to today, it's almost uh, four to five days. If we allowed it without taking it an intervention of this hollow chamber, Mr. Speaker, the plan. So it is, it is noted. I, I, I kindly bring it on the next legislative date as enshrined in the rule. Yes. Point of order, sirs. No, I, I bring you under picture one. Mr. President, thank you for this opportunity. Order 41 and 51 combined, Mr. President. Mr. President, I proceed with your kind indulgence. Order 41 says, the matter for discussion shall, if possible, be referred to the President of the Senate before commencement of the day sitting, and the President of the Senate shall refuse to allow the claim unless he is satisfied that the matter is definite and urgent. Order 51 says, notice shall not be dispensed with in the case of a motion or in respect of any other proceeding for which notice is required except with the consent of the President of the Senate and the general assent of the senators present. Distinguished colleagues, distinguished Senator Salisu Afolabi had earlier hinted me on this. And um, is it the view of the Senate that he be allowed to move the motion? Those is supposed to say aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. Please proceed with the urgent motion. Thank you, Mr. President of the Senate. Yesterday, this allo chamber moved a resolution in respect of the outbreak of a disease in some part of the in some part of the country. I tried in vain yesterday to call our attention to the fact that, that yesterday, the National Association of Resident Doctors. We are proceeding on a nationwide strike. As we speak now, the National Association of Resident Doctors across the country, they are on strike. And we know that the resident doctors constitute the majority of healthcare professionals, tertiary institutions. This is most at a time that the citizens occasioned by necessary, by very painful reforms that are going on in our economic space. Therefore, we must also not deny them the opportunity of having access to health care, particularly now. My name is Shuai Bafolabi Salisu. I represent the Good People of Ogun Central. I'm sponsoring this motion alongside with His Excellency, the Deputy Senate President, Senator Barrow Gibri from Kano North and distinguished Senator Akitune Yunus from Oyo Central. I proceed, Mr. Senate President. The Senate notes that the healthcare sector is an essential service that requires utmost attention to ensure the welfare, well being, and wellness of Nigerians. Aware that there are only 24,000 doctors available to over 200 million population, with a current ratio of one doctor to over 9,000 patients, in stark contrast with WHO's recommendation of one doctor to 600 patients. Further aware that Nigeria has witnessed mass exodus of very experienced medical professionals in recent time, and is therefore in that shortage of healthcare professionals. Observe that the ongoing strike by resident doctors has resulted in suspension of critical health services, healthcare services, 
further exacerbating the fragile public health situation across the country. Further observe that it is imperative for the federal government to promptly address the concerns of the resident doctors and find lasting solutions to prevent future occurrences of, of strikes that disrupt our health care services now and then. Concern that the outbreak of a highly contagious and deadly Dabathera disease in some states poses a significant public health concern and requires immediate, effective, and coordinated intervention. Further concern that the ongoing strike by the resident doctors has led to the suspension of health, essential health care services, negatively impacting patients' access to medical care, and concern that the well-being and health of Nigerian citizens are paramount, and the government must prioritize efforts to contain the departure outbreak and ensure access to quality health care services. Senate Resolve 1. To urge the federal government to immediately engage with the leadership of the resident doctors to address their grievances and find lasting solutions to end the ongoing strike. 2. To encourage the federal government to identify and address the underlying issues leading to incessant strike in the health sector and develop sustainable policies to prevent future occurrences, thereby safeguarding the health and well-being of all Nigerians. Number three, investment in the healthcare sector, including capacity building for medical professionals and the development of policies to enhance healthcare delivery in Nigeria, and to call on the resident doctors to consider the humanitarian implications of their strike action and prioritize the well-being and lives of patients, particularly in the face of the diabetes disease outbreak in some part of the country and immediately suspend the strike. Number five, mandate the relevant committees of the Senate, when constituted, to conduct an inquiry into the underlying issues leading to the resident doctor strike and make recommendations for the sustainable resolution of their concerns. And finally, Mr. President, to direct the Federal Ministry of Health through the Center for Disease Control to swiftly implement measures to contain the spread of the diabetes disease in affected states and ensure that necessary medical supplies and resources are readily available to combat the outbreak. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I enjoin you to please support this motion to ensure that we bring to an end immediately the ongoing strike by the resident doctors. They are the bulwark of our healthcare delivery system. We cannot afford that the only doctors we have left in the country who have not migrated abroad are on strike at a time the citizens need the comfort of the healthcare delivery system as well as combating the disease that's driving in some part of the country. Mr. President, I so move. Yes, this is which behind Father Hosty. Mr. President of the Senate, my name is Son Sunday Marshall Katun. I represent the people of Kaduna South Senatorial District. I rise to second this very important motion as moved by Senator Afolabi, and I urge colleagues to support the motion. And in supporting it, I wish to state uh, as follows, Mr. President, with your kind permission, that this motion is not only timely, but it's also an emergency. In the following, coming shortly after the motion I moved yesterday on the issue of diphtheria outbreak, I think that uh, the motion deserves all the support uh, we can uh, garner. And um, I watched the news yesterday, most television stations depicted the pathetic state of most federal uh, medical centers because yeah, the picture was pathetic in the sense that most doctors have abandoned their duty post. And in areas where few doctors were working, they stated clearly that the notice of the strike got to them late, that's why they were at work. So this issue requires an immediate intervention and the intervention of the Senate will go a long way in ameliorating the sufferings that the people are being subjected to at this moment. 
the mover of the motion has also copiously argued the motion and, uh, uh, that, and therefore does not require so much argument. The prayers are straightforward and I urge my colleagues to kindly support the motion. Thank you very much, Mr. President. This is Mr. Attorney Way. Thank you, our common president and our leader, distinguished colleagues. My name is Dr. Tony Nguye. I represent the group of Anna Branos Senatorial District. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, my contribution will be very few words. Number one, this uh, motion is very timely because these resident dog talks are the doctors who are the most critical workforce in our tertiary hospitals vis-a-vis -vis the teaching hospitals and federal medical centers. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, they are the, the middle and the junior cadre of our hospitals, and their services cannot be neglected. Sometimes in 2016, when I was in the House of Reps, when I was a member, I led a delegation of the then leadership of the resident doctors to meet with the, to interface with leadership of the National Assembly. We even met the then president before, because we had a serious negotiation on this, this issue of lingering crisis in the health sector. We resolved it then. I'm appealing to this Nigerian Senate, these young colleagues, for this our Senate to consider it expedient Mm, all right, then what we're looking at there is the, the 28 uh, person ministerial uh, nominees in the first list. Earlier this morning, the chief of staff to the president, Femi Bajabiamila, delivered the ministerial list to the Senate president, Godswill Akpabio, uh, looking at a cabinet consisting of uh, the immediate uh, pastor of River State Governor Yasumwike. Uh, his colleague from Kaduna, Nasiril Rufai, uh, Latif Fagwemi, former uh, um, Cross River Governor Ben Ayande, his colleague from Oshun State, Boiga Oyetola, the President's Special Advisor on Media Strategy and Special Duties, Dele Alake. Also on that list, uh, former Minister of Health under Good Luck, Jonathan Ali Pate, Olawale Edun, a former Deputy Governor uh, of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Debaya de Labu, and of course, the women leader of the All Progressives of Congress, uh, Beta Adun. And this is something that we had been waiting for a long time, uh, Cynthia. This particular list, of course, comes in at a time where I think about two days to the deadline. You know, the, the President has about 60 days, two months uh, to put his ministerial list together. So the entire nation had been waiting to see this list. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are your thoughts about this? Well, this is definitely um, the first list, as um, stated by um, the Senate President Godswilla Pabio. It's definitely incomplete, and he mentioned that it will be completed in due course. But what's happening right now at the same time, even though this is an, a highly anticipated list, like you rightly mentioned, Shaito, mm -hmm. is that the senators are also moving uh, motions. The, the motion that was moved earlier on by Senator Folabi was to bring an end to the strike by the resident doctors because this is a crucial time at the country. And that motion was supported by uh, one of the senators representing the Kaduna district as well as a uh, senator from Anambra district, um, Tony Wonye, because he's stating that, you know, this is a very crucial workforce and they cannot afford to be relegated to the background. Well, we're definitely bringing in um, our specialist, that's um, Arise News Analyst, Dr. Sam Amadi, to take a further look at this list of ministerial nominees sent by President Bola Tinubu to the Senate. Dr. Amadi, good to have you here on Newsday. Thank you very much and good afternoon. Good afternoon. Any surprises with what you heard at all? A few surprises, not much. Uh, uh, the media had reported that there are going to be uh, some of the names there, especially the governors, uh, the major political actors in the last election. Wike Ganduje, sorry, Wike um, uh, Erufai, um, and some of that, uh, one or two governors. And then again, uh, some of the Titinibu's team, Alake, Edu, not much surprise. Uh, maybe Fabio, me, the lawyer, the son, a little bit of surprise. 
Uh, in the southeast, uh, Nkiru Georgia, a big surprise uh, for Abia State. And um, in Imo State, now uh, I'm here. Uh, some kind of surprise too, but not much. I guess this is more of a political list um, uh, and for good reason, where there's still some uncertainty about the, uh, the presidency in terms of what the tribunal will do and some predictions of a re-election or something like that. So I think the, the political instinct is more at play here. Of course, there are a couple of technocrats uh, who are renowned and credible, uh, Pate, uh, Waledu, uh, the former governor of, I think, Ekiti or Ondo uh, is well versed in economics and uh, has worked in many places. Uh, a bit of uh, uh, those with democratic power. But again, the overriding consideration is politics. And it, it doesn't mean that political nominees are incompetent. I mean, Aerofy is as political as it can be. But it's also a renowned technocrat and could fit into uh, many places uh, and perform. But, it, but I think this is a cabinet that is informed more by strategic political consideration and a little bit about um, maybe responding to freshness. What I don't like is that some it's of the you. politicians, uh, I mean, who in their own right have some gravitas, but I know the kind of person you expect to midwife a new Nigeria where we are trying to get away from state capture, from corruption. So from the word go, this government will not be notable for uh, taking Nigeria away from the grip of state capture, rentier state, and all those uh, part of uh, Nigerian political misadventure. It could do well in some technical sense, in the economy, in getting things to work, infrastructure, maybe with the, some of the guys they have. But, but definitely, we're not going to see a redefinition of the country away from politics of pillage and politics of capture. That's really my biggest worry for now. Okay, uh, 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 Mr. Sam, let's talk about, uh, you know, Section 42 of the Constitution, of course, states that the nomination of any person to the office of a minister for confirmation by the Senate will be done within 60 days after the date that the president has taken the oath of office. So we're looking at just 28 names, and we only have two days left to this deadline. That also, I'm respect, expecting all the names. Also, uh, a section, uh, subsection B of, of, that, of that part of the Constitution also says that not less than 10% of persons appointed as ministers shall be women. So now looking at those two things as the indices uh, of this list, do you think that we're going to have the rest of the ministerial list before the deadline? And is this a proper representation when it comes to the percentage that is expected by the constitution when we're looking at um, you know, women and how ge gender equality in this, in, in this particular sense? Do you think that we can fulfill or the president will be able to fulfill those two indices? Uh, yes, it can, it can fulfill the indices, indices uh, or the, the requirement of getting the nominations in before expiration of time. We can get another list in a couple of hours, uh, so it's uh, a matter of it's possible. But that's, this is interesting. This is a president that we talk about hitting the ground running. And if he is very close to getting timed out, it suggests that being a political master could actually be a problem. I didn't expect the president to struggle this much to present a list. In fact, as a matter of fact, I thought he could have his list ready two days after inauguration because this is a guy who is reputed to be prepared to govern. And he knows everybody, he has been around, he has been the kingmaker for upward of eight years. So he should be able to know who to pick uh, even Lagos alone gives him all the diversity of gender, uh, uh, ethnic, uh, origin, religion, to pick 48 people who can get a job done. So well, thank you. You definitely got the job done the in, the, in a few yeah. minutes, and we appreciate your time, Dr. Samamadi, but we're out of time for now. Mm -hmm.